hi everyone in this video i'm going to explain what all topics we cover on day 5 of oracle fusion middleware administration training so we start our day on ssl concepts which is secure socket layer we discuss about various ways in which you can configure ssl in oracle fusion middleware products like one way ssl or two way ssl we cover key concepts like key store wallet certificates so key store and wallet are the location or the store in which your certificates are stored depending on type of fusion middleware component you store your certificates in an appropriate directory how you open key store or wallet or how can we view the certificates that we are going to cover on day 5 then we'll configure ssl in fusion middleware product mainly in oracle http server and weblogic server so that's the hands-on you are going to do on our servers remotely we'll also discuss security realm in weblogic server then we'll cover various providers in weblogic server we'll discuss authentication authorization role mapping identity asserter and few other important providers in weblogic server weblogic server comes with an embedded ldap where it stores users groups and roles so we are going to check how to create a user group or role in weblogic's embedded ldap server we'll also integrate weblogic server with external ldap server like oracle internet directory if you're integrating your fusion middleware products like SOA or OBIEE or Web Center, which is deployed on WebLogic server with single sign on product like Oracle Access Manager, then one of the prerequisites is that your WebLogic server must be integrated with the LDAP server like Oracle Internet Directory. So that you're going to do remotely on our servers. On the machine that you get, you will also get Oracle Internet Directory so you will configure weblogic server authentication to point to oid so that users in oid can log in to the weblogic server and finally we'll cover logging and debugging in various fusion middleware products this is again very important so if you're troubleshooting a problem and you don't see appropriate logs so enable extra logging or debugging in middleware products like SOA suite or OBIEE or Oracle HTTP server. So just to recap, we are going to cover SSL concept, key store, wallet, and certificates. We'll configure SSL mainly around two middleware products, Oracle HTTP server and WebLogic server. We'll review the security realm, various providers. We'll see how to create users, groups, and roles in WebLogic server integrate weblogic server with external ldap server oid in our case and finally logging and debugging in fusion middleware products thank you